Hi, SDO parents. Um, I am Kurt Nelson and I am the Site Technology Coordinator for Wyandotte Academy. And some of your teachers over at SDO have asked me to put together a quick little video to show you how to onboard your students into Google Classroom so that they can um, participate in some activities from home. So here's how we do this. Um, first of all, you're going to need to sign into your student's Chromebook. So when they start up, you'll have this uh, sign in. Your teacher should be able to give you the student's email, which is a five digit code. And then it says at OCESD.net. And then they're going to give you the password. So I'm going to enter that information now into, um, into this uh, browser. And then we have the password. And because you're working with preschoolers, it's probably going to be a new account and they may have things that you, um, for the welcome to a new account that you'll need to accept. And now that they're in, I want to show you a handy feature that should be on all of the Chromebooks. When you are logged into Google like this, you can go up here to what uh, we people that teach the big kids call the waffle menu. And when you click on that waffle menu, it gives you all sorts of um, apps that the kids have access to. You're going to want to go to classroom which is the green chalkboard with the yellow frame around it and when you click on that you are going to google classroom and this happens to be um, the start screen so then you'll click continue after you scroll down and then please be sure to pick i'm a student because you're logging in for your child once you're in, you'll see cards here. Um, if your child is just enrolled in one class, you'll, you should have one card with their teacher's name at the top, and then you click join. And that's all there is to it. So after you've joined the first time, every time your child goes into uh, Google Classroom, they're just going to go right in here, and then it looks like, wow, you got some fun stuff to do in here. So you have a whole list of things that you can uh, choose to do with your preschooler. Um, if you have any questions, be sure to notify your preschool teacher, and um, I'm working in conjunction with them. So if they have que if you have questions, they'll pass them on to me, and I may give you a call back. Um, good luck, and thanks for all your support of our little guys. We appreciate it.